Okay, so we're going to go over a couple different videos that you can do um, to hit. Um, and then I'll kind of add in uh, some points, things that will make it a little more fun for your kid. Um, you're going to need a bat. You're going to need a tee if you have it. And then um, I'm using regular baseball size wiffle balls because if you can hit a baseball, it's going to end up uh, being way easier than uh, once you get to actual softball, okay? Um, when you're doing tee work, you just want to make sure that you have balance and um, you're following through, okay? And your hands go right to the ball. And All right. first, you want to start off with a tee before you start hitting off nothing. So you get practice on where the ball is going to normally land. That is very true, Roy. So, yeah, that um, the first thing we're going to talk about is working on a tee. All right, so Aurora is going to hit the ball here in a second. Um, if you want to add a fun game to it, all right, you can set up bases if you have bases. And um, they can. you just put points to, like, the different color balls. So if she gets the ball to the bases or beyond, it's one point for a white and three points for a blue. Point. This is two points. The blue balls are three points. There we go. Get all right, so. The bases, you get double the all right, Roar, you want to hit a few so they can see what yep. you're looking to do? So when we're when we're doing this, you want to get the proper spacing. You can hit Roar. You want to get the proper spacing. Well, it's fine. You got to watch the ball too. All right, proper spacing. There you go. Um, work on balance. You want to keep your weight back, not lunging forward. That's what we've been working on with Aurora, because she was lunging forward. But um, it's all about balance, weight back, hands to ball. Okay. So that's what you're working on with a T. Get it one more timer. Good girl.